Suppose A is a two by three matrix and B is a five by two matrix. If A and B both represent linear transformations, which of the following linear transformations are defined? So because we are combining two transformations here, we have a composition of linear transformations. To begin, let's let the transformation associated with matrix A be T of X equals AX. Because matrix A is a two by three matrix, T is a transformation from R3 to R2. Let's let the transformation associated with matrix B be SX equals BX. Because B is a five by two matrix, S is a transformation from R2 to R5. And now we can take two approaches to this problem. Let's first take the approach of using a composition of functions. What we have to remember here is that BA is the transformation that corresponds to applying matrix A first and then matrix B second. The reason for this, and this is because it's a composition of functions. Looking at the notes above, if we wanted the composition of S and T, which is equal to S of T of X, we know we want to apply the transformation T first and then the transformation given by S. So we would first replace T of X with matrix A times X, and then this becomes the input into the transformation S, which gives us BAX. And in this form, we apply the transformation given by matrix A first and then matrix B. So for our first example, we have AB. So we apply the transformation associated with matrix B first and then the transformation associated with matrix A. Well, the transformation associated with matrix B is S, which maps from R2 to R5. And then we apply the transformation associated with matrix A, which is the transformation T, which is from R3 to R2. In order for the linear transformations to be defined, the codomain after the first transformation must equal the domain for the second transformation. Notice here they don't. The codomain after the first transformation is R5, and the domain for the second transformation is R3. So because these vector spaces are not the same, AB is not defined. Next we have BA. So we first apply the transformation associated with matrix A, which is the transformation T from R3 to R2. And then we would apply the transformation associated with matrix B, which is the transformation S, which maps from R2 to R5. Well, notice in this case, the codomain after the first transformation is the same as the domain for the second transformation, which indicates the linear transformations given by BA are defined. Next, we have A squared which means A times A, we want to apply the transformation given by T twice, where T is a transformation from R3 to R2, and then from R3 to R2 again. We can see this is not defined because again, the codomain after the first transformation is not the same vector space as the domain for the first transformation. A squared is not defined. Next we have B squared, we want to apply the transformation given by S from R2 to R5 twice. And once again, this is going to be undefined because the codomain after the first transformation is not the same as the domain for the second transformation. B squared is undefined. So this is how we would approach this problem if we want to approach this as if we have a composition of two linear transformations. Another option, though, would be to find the product of the two matrices, which would give us one transformation matrix and one linear transformation that would be equivalent to performing the two transformations given by these compositions of linear transformations. And if the matrix multiplication is defined, the corresponding linear transformations are defined. If the matrix multiplication is undefined, so are the linear transformations. So real quickly, for A times B, we would try to multiply a two by three matrix and a five by two matrix. In order for matrix multiplication to be defined, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix. Three doesn't equal five. The matrix multiplication is undefined, and so is the corresponding composition of linear transformations. 
for B times A, we would have a five by two matrix times a two by three matrix. Notice in this case, the number of columns in the first matrix does equal the number of rows in the second matrix. The matrix multiplication is defined, and so is the corresponding composition of linear transformations. For A squared, we would have a two by three matrix times a two by three matrix, which is undefined. The number of columns in the first matrix does not equal the number of rows in the second matrix. Because the multiplication is undefined, so is the corresponding composition of linear transformations. And then for B squared, we have a five by two times a five by two, and once again, the number of columns in the first matrix does not equal the number of rows in the second matrix. The multiplication is undefined, and so is the corresponding composition of linear transformations. So either approach is valid, but taking the first approach adds much more meaning to what's really happening when we take a composition of linear transformations. I hope you found this helpful.